judge today, the guy who hosted a press conference at their office here on High Street. And the folks who spoke are painting a very dire picture as they predict what will happen in the Sugar Belt, especially for the factories that have just been closed. One of my best friends, BCSR, from number two canal, commit suicide just for cause. He and his wife problem overwork and no money coming in the house. He commit suicide just because he closed the number of the wheels of the estate and he ain't getting no job, he ain't getting no money. So before the authority, if he got more than anybody, he commit suicide. In our village, we depend on sugar. We, um, as a little girl grew up, we grew up in cutting cane, and there's no more cane cutting in our village. And our village have plenty of crime and so going on, and we need jobs. If they could open back the industry, it would be very good for us. My name is Michael Choto. I'm from Wales Estate, cane harvest for 28 years. I know a feeling it's a bad thing I'm going through right now because I've got in four kids and right now I can't be able to send them to school. Today is Valentine's Day. I even can't afford to buy a rose from a woman. You understand how shameful it looks. Handouts can help us. Donation and hampers is only for a time. How much the hamper the donation should be. You know, we need jobs. We need things, alternatives we can turn to, you know. So if they can reopen the estate, each home has at least four children going to school. So you check the amount of homes and the children that will be affected by it, not who will be affected, who are affected by this. So we just ask the government if they can rethink their decision, open back their estates, until betterment can be done. People are so frustrated, they are committing suicide. Because people are working, people are earning. This is the impact it has on it's having on our life. It hurts me to know every morning I wake up and I can't go to work. I can't bring in an income. So all I'm asking if Mr. Granger and company can consider reconsidering their decision to reopen the estate so the people life can people can work and people livelihood can get better. George of as you have seen, the folks are saying they don't know where to turn, they don't know what to do. All their lives, all they have known about and all they have done is work with sugar. And so uh, they're saying that except the government reopens the sugar factories, that things in the sugar belt will become worse and worse. Back to you, George.